Hello everyone, it has been a while since I have made my last video. I have a lot that I do want to cover, but before I get into everything, first I want to say sorry for any background noise you may hear. I'm trying to keep it as quiet as possible. And for two, I want to say that I am recording this on my older iPad, so the quality is not going to be as great, so I do apologize. I also want to say that I recorded a video yesterday, and it was basically everything I said in this one. But the problem with it was that I said um a lot and I edited it a ton. And whenever I watched it back, you could really notice it felt very impersonal. And I feel like it wasn't the kind of video that I should have made after having been gone for so long. I just didn't like how it fit at all. It just didn't feel right. So I decided to re-record it. I am aware that I say it a lot and I am working on just thinking more whenever I'm talking so I don't have those kind of gaps and just doing the best that I can in the future but that's definitely a problem and I'm working to address it and make my videos better. It is very good to be back. I have been gone for four months this time and I feel like I have a lot of good reasons for not really being here as opposed to in the past it was kind of more so me being lazy. Not that I didn't have school or anything to do, I did, but it was more so me being lazy and I feel like these reasons are pretty valid this time around. So let's just get into everything. So first of all, I do want to say that I got a job in September and it feels really nice to have my own money. I see the check, it has my name addressed to it. It's money that's mine. It's not money my grandma gave to me, so it's technically mine. It's not that kind of thing, you know? I buy something, I bought it with my own money and I feel a real sense of pride from that. It's nice to have something to just do with my time and feel like a productive member of society. And I feel like I've been learning a lot from this job. I won't say where I work for privacy reasons, but I work as hard as I can I always try to come in on time and I think I'm doing really well and just trying to save up as much of my money as possible that I do make from here. I remember I was talking with my friend in the summer, I said something along the lines of, I feel really lame for not having a job and he was like, honestly, you kind of are. And at the time that hurt my feelings, but now when I really reflect on that, he was honestly right because during the summer I wasn't really doing anything with my time, I was kind of just laying around. And it's okay to have that period of time, especially after high school, I was just so burnt out and I wanted to just leave and it was nice to just have that time to kind of relax, but it kind of just turned into a time of me being lazy. And I knew eventually I wanted to get a job just to have money and do something with my time and it's nice that that moment has finally arrived and I have learned a lot so if any of you are thinking about getting a job whether in high school college or whatever I would highly recommend and it. And while there are a lot of positives getting a job there are some negatives so I feel like the main negative for me has just been work-life balance there have been periods where I have been working a lot and I definitely feel like because of that I've just been really focused on that and I've lost touch with my hobbies which is basically making these videos playing my trumpet playing my guitar hanging out with my friends just doing things for me and i read a tweet a little while ago that said that everything we do like our hobbies and things like that they don't have to make us money we don't have to make everything into a side hustle necessarily and i think that that is really important to remember because it's really important for my mental health and i have to remember not to just bury myself into work because it can definitely be isolating at times Next thing I want to talk about is that I did get a car. It was a birthday gift. My grandma and I had been saving up for a while and we found a deal that I felt like we couldn't pass up and we ended up getting it. There is still some money that is owed to it, which I'm paying off. The car's actually in my name. I feel like there's a lot of positives to that. I bought the main stuff that I have in my car that I need for any emergency or whatever. And I do want to make an entire video dedicated to the kind of car I have, my experience getting it, and everything like that. Because I feel like it was a very important moment for me, very special. I feel like anyone's first car is a very important moment. And I just want to do that video right instead of shoving it into this video. So it'll probably be my next video. And I'm really excited to put that together and just talk about everything. I think it'll be a very nice video. But I'm very far ahead of my payments and I actually plan on paying off the rest of it in March and that's going to be great because it's going to open up a lot of doors for me and I'm going to finally be able to save up for a lot of things that I want to do and start putting dates on when I'm going to do those. And I think the really big goal for this year is just to get the things that I want to get done accomplished. And I know that's the goal every year, but especially this being the first year that I'm out of high school, I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to get everything done and I just don't want to fail even though I know it is important sometimes to accomplish my goals. I don't want that to happen obviously and I just want to live up to all the expectations that I'm putting on myself and just be successful in general. So it'll be nice to finally have money saved up and be able to do certain things that I wasn't necessarily able to do before in high school. So I'm very much looking forward to that and just trying to think of the best way I can do that. And like I said, saving as much money as possible also helps. The thing that I want to talk about is a school update. I feel like I've covered a lot of this in my past videos, but basically after I found out I couldn't go to UNT, I was really bummed 
and I just lost a lot of the motivation I had for school. And one of the great things about only having a job and not having to focus on school is a lot of reduced stress for one because I don't have to deal with any assignments or deadlines and a lot of other pros. And like I said, after that, I just lost a lot of motivation. I was supposed to go to college in the winter time, which is at this time right now. And as the time got closer for me to register for classes, I just felt myself really not wanting to do that. And I had to think about why, and I came to the conclusion of why and I'm thinking now, like, even if I did go, I don't think that majoring in psychology and becoming a therapist, which is originally what I wanted to do, I don't think that that is really what I want to do now that I really think about it. And I feel like it kind of would have been a waste of time and money. And I can't think of anything I want to do that does involve college. Maybe I'll go in the future. Maybe I'll go to trade school. I feel like we do need to normalize not going to college at all because there are definitely people who can't afford it. People who don't want to. And college just isn't for some people. And I feel like there's a lot of pressure on younger people these days to go and some people go just to go so that's kind of where I'm standing on with college and I feel really satisfied with what I'm doing now I wanted to update you guys on that and how I'm feeling about everything a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that I'm not going to school and why and everything and they say I still have time because I'm young which is fine if I'm just kind of doing the best that I can and hoping that I like where I end up landing next thing I want to talk about is my Spotify rap stats I'm going to put them on the screen right now I think that they're really interesting and I really do want to make a video in the future where I talk about the kind of music I listen to and why I think it is important and how I feel like it's influenced me because I have made videos in the past talking about music but that was more so on my main channel. I want to do another video like that on here but with pop music and rock music and not just my band stuff that I did in the past. So that's definitely something I want to do in the future along with other videos I have ideas for. I just want to make more videos in general. I don't know if that's going to entail me only making one video a month on these channels or more. I would like to make more, but we'll just have to see where I land. Maybe I'm only meant to make videos every once in a while. I'd like to make my videos higher quality and I just have a lot of goals for myself this year. So hopefully I can accomplish them and get everything that I want to actually complete and just really make something of myself this year. I feel like I have a lot of things that I can do and the world is really my oyster at this point. So my skin is kind of peeling. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am not fond of it. But I mean, I think I've covered pretty much everything that I want to cover. Sorry this is such a long video. I just feel like I had a lot that I wanted to say. I have been gone so long. I have missed a lot. So I think my future videos will kind of be me making up the time that I missed for, maybe including things that I forgot to talk about in this video or other things I want to, but I'm just going to do the best that I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. You can also hit the red subscribe button right down below to be notified every time I post. If you have the bell next to that, you get a notification on your phone every time I post. If you hit the first link down below in the description, you can check out my brand new main channel video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys did. You can also follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram as well. And if you would like to leave a comment on future videos that you'd like me to make, definitely do that on here on my main channel. But I think that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.